Hello and welcome to the video. We got an exciting one for you today. If you guys don't remember, this is Saul. We're back at his farm today and uh, we're gonna give you guys an equipment tour on, uh, on his place today. He's gonna show us the lineup. I know uh, if some of you have watched the previous videos, you already got to see bits and pieces of the equipment that Saul and his family has, but we're gonna go through it all here today and hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, should be great. We got all kinds of old equipment laying around, so if you're into that stuff, great. If you're not, then that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, start off here. So we're in the barn here with the old John Deere, the 40. Yep, so John Deere 40, I think it's a 52. I'm not real sure on it. This is the one, I can't remember if I mentioned it before, um, did the head gasket on it. She kind of needs retorque yet, but otherwise runs pretty good. Battery's real data right started for you, but uh, obviously I got the DuPont overhaul maybe, oh, 15 years ago, I'm kind of guessing. Yeah, it runs nice. It's kind of a handy little thing to have around for raking hay or I got the back blade on it now. Nice little tractor to have, kind of got some it was my grandpa's, so got some sentimental value too, you know, to it. So, yeah, it's got some nice tires on it. Yep, got some good tires yet, and boy, she's just ready to rock. So. Yeah, there you go. There's the start of the tour, and like Saul said, main jobs are backblade right now. All right, you move snow with it. Yep, yeah, I move snow with it, and um, I've also like, <clears throat> excuse me, but like we've gotten gravel on the driveway and stuff done too, so it works actually pretty nice for kind of smoothing that out. And, yeah small enough to get around you have to do a little something with it. yeah yeah all right on to the next one so we got here 560 this one uh the motor was rebuilt i would say probably 500 hours ago or so so it still runs pretty nice i think this one will start for you guys so we'll find out here i gotta run the glow plugs this might be a second <laughs> Tires or is it just the, the weights? Just the, just the weights. There's no fluid in these, so I'm a, I have no problem with that for kind of what this one's been used for. Yeah, I think that rebuild was worth it. I think even idling now, it, it sounds really nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely worth it, especially since I didn't pay for the rebuild. <laughs> yeah, it should uh, should last forever. Your tin's pretty straight. Uh, like I said, it's been a good tractor. Hoping to use it for a while yet to come. Okay, now from uh, one old 560 to another. As you can tell by the tin laying on the ground, I'm not a big a fan of this one. Um, to be fair, we use this one a lot for moving bales, and this with a bigger tire sitting a little higher. 
this was more kind of the baling tractor so so a lot of hours for us and then with us so this one's probably going down the road here one of these days with enough money you could i mean you could fix it up it's uh clutch has kind of got some problems needs new brakes glow plugs and kind of stuff like that but um like i said it's served us for a long time but this one's probably gonna get down the road here pretty soon so you heard that it's for sale so, <laughs> so reach out if you if you want to pay some good money for yeah. an old tractor yeah. here <laughs> always playing around all right well the dogs are playing <laughs> now it's on to saul's uh, sunday driver yeah so i figured i'd show this off too 64 thunderbird um good story behind this one i actually bought this from the guy that used to take me to school on the bus so that was kind of cool uh, i'll see if she starts for you It's been hibernating for a while, as you can see. Yeah, it uh, needs new valve seats, which I have, but I haven't had a chance to put them in yet, obviously, so when she starts to, she's got a little smoke to it, but uh, runs pretty good. I don't know, I can't complain about it. It's not, it could use a paint job, use a few little things, but overall, it's a, it's a fun little car to drive around in. Oh, for sure. I think uh, I think when it comes to cruising on a, on a weekend, this definitely fits your personality, so I love it. It's Just pretty nice. Nice old car, and like you said, it's a little sentimental at the same time, and mm -hmm. yeah, I think a good paint job one day, and man, yeah, got a sweet rig. Yeah. So, there you go. There's the old classic car that Saul's been hiding. That'll get the women to look. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Okay, now on to some implements. So here's the, the planter that I've been using here for the last few years. And um, actually, it's been a really nice planter, 494A. I'm working on getting it moved over to 30 inch rows. It was on 38. And uh, that's kind of was a project late last fall, and I kind of dove into it here a little bit this winter. But uh, once once she thaws out and dries up a little bit, or I can get her, get her in the yard and work on it, that'll be That'll be one of the projects. And uh, since we're on that subject, uh, we had a viewer reach out that's been uh, trying to get us to take a big trip up to Canada. Yeah. To get a four row narrow head, but that's a ways to go. Yeah. For... Truly honored to think, but uh, a little ways from here. Yeah, <laughs> oh, a, lot, a lot of ways. I think it's, I think it's like a... <laughs> dogs are having fun. <laughs> I think it's like a 17 plus hour drive. And... That's a way to justify going. But yeah. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> now we're on to the main shop or shed, I guess you could call it here, with all the, the main rigs, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the, the big rig shop here. <laughs> so, the Moline, which you guys are familiar with. Um, I can't remember if I ever brought up why did I not be wrong in the plowing video? No, I don't think we talked about it. So, get a light out here. Up under there, it's just an elbow coming off the tank. There's an old valve there too, but that, that's whatever. So in that elbow, what ended up being the problem is there's a chunk of Teflon tape, it looked like, is what was stuck in there. Clogging the fuel line. Yeah, yeah clogging so. the line before the filters or anything, so. Yeah, so if you guys don't remember, there was there was points when he was plowing in that video where it, it cut in and out a couple times mm -hmm. and that, that's what was causing it. Yeah, I tore into it eventually. Um, one day, kind of towards the end, I was almost done and I got sick of it dying and almost dying on me. So kind of tore into it and that's what we found and it's been running great ever since then. So hopefully, hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, yeah, and uh, just got fixed in the nick of time too because he finished up plowing in the snow. Yep, so. dark in the snow and it was a lot of fun too. Yeah. So. <laughs> Here we got the 720. This one is probably personally my favorite. I uh, just grew up doing a lot of work with this one. Anything from baling, raking, mowing hay, plowing, disking, any of that kind of stuff was done with this tractor. It's still in pretty good shape. No electric start on it. Didn't have the pony motor. So at some point someone decided it wasn't worth the batteries in there. So now it's just a 
park her on the hill and roll her down when you need it kind of situation. <laughs> and But it works pretty well and always starts up really nice. This one is overhauled at 1.2, but that's been probably in the 90s, I would guess. So it's been a while, but uh, really good old tractor. She's helped me out in a pinch quite often. And the 720, that's a hand clutch? Yep, right? hand clutch. Are they all hand clutches? Uh, most of these two cylinders are, but like the 40 that I showed you before, that's that's the foot clutch. Um, but yeah, this one's hand clutch, diesel. Tires are not bad, so we'll run her for a while yet. And its main job now, it's your it's your planning tractor, right? Yep, yeah, I usually do planning with it. Uh, it's a really good kind of fill-in tractor too. It seems like, you know, you kind of have stuff break down here and there, and this one always kind of jumps right in and off you go with it, so. And then uh, I know you've done some plowing with it. Uh, how big of a plow, a uh, two bottom, three bottom? If you're on light ground, you can go pretty quick with a three bottom, but some of this year is a little bit heavier. So three bottom and second or third gear, and she's working pretty hard, but without overheating or anything. So that's kind of that's kind of her sweet spot there. It's for sure a sweet old John Deere. Yeah. There ain't a whole lot of people that don't like an old John Deere. That's, so. that's right. <laughs> The good green. So that's a good segue and uh, another piece of uh, old green machinery. Another one you guys are familiar with, the combine in here. Still running good, doing a great job. I, I guess I don't have a whole lot of new information on her when I got done combining. Pulled her in here and this is where she sits for now. Uh, probably in another month or so I'll back her out and take the head off and kind of go through it a little bit, do a little bit of service, change oil and stuff like that. And, Make sure she's all ready for fall when I get time. So that's kind of where she's sitting now. And then uh, moving on to the, the opposing color. So this is, uh, this tractor's, I think was one of the first ones that was bought by my family. My great grandfather bought this brand new. I don't remember what year it is to be honest with you. And uh, back in the day when we had this farm here, so this is the family farm, and then there was a farm about eight miles south of here off in the hills. And my great grandfather would milk here and milk down at that other farm. And when there was snow, he'd drive this down there. So I've heard it's gone through a lot of tires in its day. <laughs> but uh, it's still a pretty good old tractor. It needs a little bit of work. Uh, you can see it's leaking some hydraulic oil. It needs some radiator work too. But still runs. This is kind of another one I'm hoping to, to get cleaned up here, hopefully this year. And, Get her a little bit better shape. Yeah, that'd be a really nice little yard tractor or mm -hmm. wagon puller or a header cart mover or something yep. like that. Yep, anything like that, any of the little stuff. This is this is kind of your girl right here. Yeah. Nice old red. Do you want to show off that other uh, piece of red equipment? In I suppose I could. <laughs> so this here, the old H, uh, seems like everybody's got one laying in the weeds or the shed somewhere. Yeah, pretty common tractor, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Made a lot of them. They were good old tractors. It's an older one, so it's got the magneto. I'll be honest, I don't know much at all about magnetos other than it'll hurt if it shocks you. That's, that's about the extent of my all. Um, similar to the 40, had the DuPont overhaul. This one's probably done longer ago than I think I said 15 years. It's in decent shape. You can see she's got a little catch in the steering wheel. She, we got a bunch of snow a few years back. Shed fell in, and that's where that was. I'll be honest with you, it's actually kind of nice. You get a little extra torque on her when you're <laughs> going through the field. Not a bad tractor. Don't do too much with it anymore, but um, worked. <laughs> I suppose back in the day it was probably a pull the rake around or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It was it was a raking tractor I think for quite a few years back when I was I was pretty young. Runs good. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think they're starting to have governor problems. It's starting to get that gallop a little bit to it. Uh, we'll see. This one's a little bit more on the back burner as opposed to other ones as far as fixing up goes. But if we find time, it's. It's definitely another project that could be tackled. So keeping the old reds alive. That's right. <laughs> another old uh, red machine here. Yeah, this one here. This is my brother's. I'm just kind of holding it here for him. Paint's pretty decent on it. Um, I don't have a whole lot of information on this one for you, other than uh, I think he got it 10, 15 years ago, something like that. Uh, he's a little bit older than me, so this is kind of his. We use it for moving bales. For a little while there uh i think a little bit of brush hogging not too much but that's kind of the story behind this one oh a uh, tractor that i have no not, i don't know a whole lot about this brand 
another old vintage tractor. Yeah, this is one of these old Ferguson's. I believe it's a TO20. Could be wrong. I don't know much about these either, but uh, this was kind of my grandpa's as well as some of these other tractors around um, that kind of came with the farm. It uh, runs halfway decent. I think it needs a little bit of carb work to, to really get her going, but I did use it for some brush hogging here this fall. Uh, kind of cleaned up waterways and stuff, and it, it did all right for that, so how much more you can ask. Yeah, and when's the last time the loader was used on it? Oh, that's probably been, I would say, 10 years. I know there used to be a little bit of snow removal done with it, but it's been it's been a while now. But you guys got a nice range of equipment. You got the utility tractors all the way up to the big horse. Yeah, whatever they could get their hands on, I think they bought, so cheap horsepower. I think uh, we've gone over... All the all the tractors, right? Yep. Everything that's run and, and is used, and then uh, now it's time for some honorable mentions. As you can see, Saul's got a bunch of equipment, and then uh, there's also a combine up over there. So. Yep. We've gotten. I think Aaron's gotten some comments in some of the videos about that one, so we figured uh, we might as well show it off. As we're walking here, I wanted to remind you guys that if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. What else should they do, Saul? They should comment. Yep. And share it. And share it. Yep. Yeah. Tell your friends. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> and also, I'm sure people will ask, but how many uh, plows do you have? How many more plows do you oh. have around here? I probably got, I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of eight, and I've used two. Okay. Uh, most of them are pieces and parts from many years ago. That uh, that really is going to be a kind of a scrap heap. As we're walking by it, we'll, we'll mention it here. This was uh, the main uh, the main hay bind for the, the CRP last fall yep. before you plowed it all up. Yep, this is what we used here. Uh, we have a, there's a Gale hay bind and an Oatana hay bind out in the weeds there. Um, both of those are pretty well shot. So this was the one I went with. This replaced those other hay binds and we still had cattle. You can kind of see, it's, it's not in terrible shape, but it's, Far from great. That's factory right there. Yeah, we had to hold her in place, so that's Farm, what we went with. Farmer fabrication. That's right, yeah. Heck yeah. But uh, as, if you go slow, it does a pretty good job. It's a little big for uh, for what I got going on, but it uh, does the job, so can't complain. Mm -hmm. Another treasure hidden away here on the Saul's farm. The old 45. This was the, the main honorable mention here. Uh, this one was bought, to my knowledge, actually as a parts combine. And we, we had a 45 that had a cab. That's about all I remember. We sold that when I was pretty young. Uh, yeah, I've never seen this run. I've heard a story, I don't know if it's true, but back in the day, they actually were gonna sell this and found somebody to take it and they couldn't even get it out of the ground. So it'll live here for a little while longer, I guess. A lot of coons live in there. Yeah, I can imagine. We were joking on the way up here that uh, this could be the thumbnail of one of those uh, will it start videos or, uh, you know, will we be able to restore it or finalize it? That's right. And it was like I was saying, too. I mean, they get my attention. You know, you're just watching, scrolling, whatever. You will start. It's like, I got to know. Will it start? You know, you got to watch. Of course, of course. So it turns out we're on the, the dead end lane of of harvesters apparently back in here <laughs> and this uh this piece of equipment's got a really good story behind it or i w shouldn't say good interesting story <laughs> yeah, yeah. so the story behind what's left of this uh it was an old combine full type uh maybe a 30 something i can't remember the model for sure and uh the story i heard is my grandfather was pulling it down the road and got hit by a semi and uh yeah that that's how that left it. So, but he was okay, right? He was okay. He he kind of had nine lives there, so yeah. it worked out kind of. Yeah. Another cool hidden treasure. Mm. We're walking back to the middle of the yard here, and we know that some of you will have spotted this earlier, so we <laughs> we figured we'd stop and talk about it as well. Yep. So we got the old Moline picker. Uh, this was kind of the pre combine machine, obviously. Only one row works on it because they had to rob parts off the other row to make it work, and apparently they couldn't find whatever they were looking for. Works great. <laughs> Takes the row in nice, and 
Um, it's been a couple of years now since I've used it, but. Anyways, for a old corn picker that's that sat outside, I think the paint and the tin, everything looks really nice on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's it's not too bad of shaving. You see, I had a bale kind of roll in the back of the spout there, but uh, minor details on that. Could you imagine this getting pulled by your uh, your mini Moline? Man, that'd make a pretty picture, I think, that's for sure. Heck yeah. That'd be, good. That'd be uh, calendar material. Yep, that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hashtag bring the Moline picker back. Leave it in the comments. Yeah, justice for Mason. All right, so that's going to be it for the equipment tour. We didn't cover everything out here, but all the tractors you guys got and uh, some of the equipment. We want to thank Saul for letting us come out and show us what him and his family have put together over the years. It's one heck of a collection, one heck of a fleet, that's for sure. Yeah, there's a there's a lot, lot to maintain, but and then right. and then we also wanted to throw in that uh, if you guys are interested in seeing some of the buildings, Saul has been kind of cleaning them up and getting them ready to use again. So if you guys wanted to tour the the buildings and some history behind that, let us know down in the comments. Yeah, we'll so. drop one later on about that if you guys are interested. So yeah. so thank you all for watching. Thanks again to Saul. And uh, make sure to check out all our other videos.